Lord, we thank you that you're here. We thank you that you're with us. We thank you for this beautiful couple, Kyle and Rachel, and the covenant that they make here before you today, and their friends and family. We thank you that they are blessed, and we love you. And in Jesus' name, amen. You can take your seats. We are gathered here today in the sight of God and the presence of the Holy Spirit to join together Rachel Ordinez and Kyle Heeman in the covenant of marriage, which is honorable and instituted by God. On behalf of Rachel and Kyle and their families, thank you for coming and celebrating this very special occasion with us. It's an honor to be a part of your special day. In the Bible, weddings and covenants play a very significant role. When God created Adam, he said it is not good that man should live alone. And so he created him a partner to share his adventure on this earth with him. God didn't create woman from the head of man to be over him, or from the feet of man to be walked on by him, but from his rib to be beside him, to comfort, and to inspire. For God to say it is not good that man should be alone indicates that life is better with a partner than with God. In the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20, Jesus said, for where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am among them. Two is better than one. Two people with the same vision, two people running after the will of God for their lives together, two people with passion to see his kingdom come, not only in their lives, but here on this earth. Two people with the same heart and in one accord. As you are entering into a covenant of marriage on this day, God no longer sees you as two individuals, but rather one. And that after today, in the eyes of God, you will forever be one flesh. In the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 5, Jesus said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. And what God has joined together, let no man separate. You guys are going to be an amazing couple. You guys are probably the most out there, adventurous, always laughing, always smiling. I think that's when I realized that Rachel was the one for Kyle because I've never met someone to laugh at every single one of this man's jokes. <laughs> and Rachel, you have not only that, you have the most contagious laugh. I laugh when you laugh. I feel the energy. And so you are a sweetheart with an amazing attitude. How can people not want to be around you? You guys are a good time, and you guys laugh, and you have fun, and you smile. So people don't do that anymore. So you guys are great. And Kyle, you are so passionate. I've always said this, and I always will. I'm going to look at you. <laughs> that there is no one like Kyle. You... You, the Bible says to write the vision clearly, make it plain, and you are a runner. You are such, everyone knows what you're passionate about because the next day there's a decal about it, you know. <laughs> you are so passionate, and you two coming together, you're a force to be reckoned with. You guys, your love for each other, your love for God, that's going to sustain you, that's going to keep you, and not only that, you are going to have life and life more abundantly. I believe it. And so, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 5 in the Bible says this. It said, it's better not to make a vow than to make one and not fulfill it. And so I know vows are important to you guys, and they are important to God. And I know today you guys wanted to say vows, and we'll start with these. Kyle, if you want to repeat this after me. Say, I, Kyle. I, Kyle. Take Rachel. Take Rachel. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, and in health. To, love to love and to cherish, and to cherish. till death goes part. part. I commit myself, I commit myself to, you to you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I, Rachel. I, Rachel, take Kyle, take Kyle to be my wedding husband, to be my wedding husband. From this day forward, for better or worse, for better or worse, for richer or for richer 
to you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. And now the bride and groom would like to share personal vows that they've written for each other. We'll give you a second. Here we go. I guess you're wet. You can have all the seconds.
The love I have witnessed come from your heart and soul has made me want to strengthen my relationship with our Father, Jesus Christ, and spread that love to our future children one day. You make my heart smile, love, Dove. Thank you for saying yes. Our God brings hope and faith, and we can do all things through Jesus Christ. I love you now, forever, and with all my days on this earth and in heaven. One heart and one flesh, be with forever, my By the power vested in me through the kingdom of God and the state of Texas, I now officially pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Feeman. You may kiss your bride. Giving each other kisses of happiness throughout their days of 